Happy Monday, Calvary. It's Pastor Chad with your word for the day. And today we're in Colossians chapter four, verse two is what we're looking at. So let me ask you this question. Have you ever wanted to quit something? I mean, anything at all. Have you, let's be honest, have you ever wanted to quit a job? Probably a lot of you have. That's why there was a real popular song years back that said, take this job and shove it. Uh, I ain't working here no more. Or, or maybe you wanted to quit a class. Right? You're, maybe you just wanted to quit school in general. I, I know a lot of high schoolers do. You know, they just get fed up with all the schooling stuff and all the requirements. Uh, the class I most wanted to quit in the middle of it was uh, Hebrews. In seminary, I had to take a uh, class on Hebrews. Uh, not Hebrews the book, but like the language, Hebrew. And, uh, and, and I wasn't learning it, and I, I passed the class, but I really didn't want to be there. Uh, some of you have wanted to quit on your marriage. And, and the temptation is there, the frustration is there, and it's serious and it's real, and you want to give up. Well, today the Apostle Paul talks about something that none of us should want to quit, but a lot of us find hard to do. He's talking about persevering in prayer, and he simply says this, continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. Continue steadfastly. In other words, he says, pray and don't quit praying. Pray in the morning, but not just in the morning. Pray over meals, but not just over meals. Pray with your kids at night, but not just at night with your kids. He says he wants us to pray. In other places, you know, writing to the Thessalonians, he said, pray without ceasing or pray continually. So keep praying. Don't, don't stop praying. And some of you are going, but what do we pray for? Pray for yourself. Pray for wisdom so that you can do what God wants you to do. Pray for strength that you can obey when you don't want to obey. Pray for the, the strength to love, especially those that are difficult to love. Even pray for patience. I know people say, oh, don't pray for patience because then God will send difficult things your way. Just a hint, um, God wants to teach you patience whether you want to learn it or not. So go ahead and pray for it and be looking for the ways that God wants to teach you patience. But don't just pray for yourself, pray for your family. Pray, pray for your spouse, uh, that you can love her the way that God wants you to love her or him. Pray, pray for your kids, that, that they would know Jesus and love Jesus and follow Jesus and serve Jesus. Pray for your friends that you know, may or may not know Christ. Especially pray for them if they don't know Christ. And ask for those opportunities to invite or to share with them. And pray for Calvary. And the work that we're doing, the fact that we want to impact this community for the gospel, uh, and we need God to work in amazing ways if we're going to reach Havasu and Parker and points beyond uh, for Christ. So pray. Pray in the morning. Have a quiet time. Spend a few moments when you wake up. Uh, and look, I don't care if your prayer in the morning is, thank you, Lord, it's morning, or good Lord, it's morning. It doesn't matter. Just acknowledge that God is there and spend some moments with Him uh, and, and practice gratitude, uh, whether you feel it or not. And then pray throughout the day. That's what the whole pray without ceasing thing is. Just remember God and praise Him and thank Him and, and lift up the people that you're concerned about. And then pray intentionally. Whether you set aside a few moments each day or an hour during the week, maybe take a lunch hour and just give it to God. Or maybe you take a day and you say, I'm going to let this day be a day of prayer and fasting. Or maybe you set a time to pray with your spouse or with your kids. But pray on purpose. And pray because you really can't know Jesus unless you spend time with him. For all of those reasons and many more, pray. Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. Hey, since I'm talking about praying, let me pray for us. Father, thanks for loving us, and thank you that you want to spend time with us as your children. So I pray for those that are watching this and that will watch this, that you would encourage them, that you would strengthen them and reveal yourself to them in a, in a powerful way. And God, I pray that they would value you enough to pursue you in prayer. So God, give us the strength that we may pray continually in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope this helps, and I pray that you have a blessed day.